Hey everybody, do you want to create a rigid body simulation like this for your products? Start by importing your objects. In my case, I just use a cube and scatter them around with duplicating them. After that, we select one, go to Object, Rigid Body and add Active. Now under the physics tab we have the rigid body active, so we can change the mass here, we leave it at 1, we can change that later. The collision shape depends on your object, if the object is more complicated, select mesh. This will take longer to bake, but it's way more precise. On the surface response we change the friction to 0.2 and the bounciness to 0.2, you can also play around with these settings. On the sensitivity the margin should be super low. This means that the objects can get super close together and it looks like they touch even though there is a small small little space. But you can't see this in the full simulation. On the dynamics we also activate the deactivation setting. Now we want to copy these rigid body settings from the one sphere to all the other objects in the scene. So select everything, go to object and on the rigid body you can select copy from active. This will copy these settings to all the other objects so you can select them and see that the settings will stay the same and that they are copied onto the object itself. If we press play now the objects will fall down. That's because the gravity is still on. To deactivate it, we go to Scene and on the Rigid Body World, we can go to Field Weights and deactivate the gravitivity. So set it to zero and if we press play now, the balls will stay in the air. Now comes the fun part, we can just add in a simple force field in the beginning, scale it a little bit up and always if you scale it, press Ctrl A and apply the scale. Now in the force field settings, we can change the strength to minus 10 and see what's happening. As we can already see, the balls will move together and collide in the middle. This is a perfect start. In my opinion, the balls move a little bit slow, so we increase the strength. So let's go to minus 50 and see how it looks. This one is maybe a little bit too much, so let's go back to minus 25 and that is good for me. Just play around with the different settings you have until you find something you like. To give the whole scene a little bit more variety we can also add in a turbulence modifier. Let's also increase this, press command A to apply the scale and let's increase the strength to 10 and see how it looks. Nothing really changed so let's go to 100 and see if the effect is applied. And you can see now the objects move way more random. Maybe this is a little bit too much. So let's move this down to maybe 50. And this looks good in my opinion. Now we want the objects to also move in a circle. So we have some movement going on. For that we can add in the force field vertex. Let's also scale the vertex up first and then rotate it 90 degrees on the X axis. So it points in one direction. Let's see how this looks. As you can see now the vertex modifier works, the balls line up in a line here and rotate but we don't want to actually have the balls line up in, in this straight line. So we just change the shape from plane to point and if we press play now we can see the balls just start rotating without going in this straight line. The strength is a little bit too much so let's switch this back to let's say 3. And there you go, maybe still a little bit too much, but you get the point. Just play around with all the different settings you have now. You can also change the, the different masses of the object you have. You can play around with the turbulence or with the force that moves all the objects into the center. And after just playing around a few minutes, you will get super great results. And you can do this with all objects you have. It doesn't have to be a sphere, it can be a shoe, it can be any other product that you have just make sure that the typology looks clean and the objects can collide together without clipping into each other. If you are happy with your simulation and you want to save it go again to the scene settings and on the rigid body world there is a cache option just to find the frames from where you want to start the simulation and where it should end let's say 100 and after that just press bake and wait. After the bake is done, you can scroll through the timeline and see everything is saved.
So, thanks a lot for watching. That was it for today. I hope you could learn something. If you have some questions, just write them in the comments and I see you the next time. Peace out.